Let me welcome you to the, uh, the Mary Medallion Award Ceremony. Uh, this ceremony first began in 2012, and I'd like to take a, just a minute or so to talk to you about the medallion, what it is, and why we give it. So in 2012, the Morning News and Francis Marion University came together, and we decided that we wanted to begin a yearly tribute to recognize men and women across the PD region. Men and women who made unique contributions to further the lives of other people in their communities and again, across the region as a whole. Every year we've, we've reached out and, and we've selected recipients who we felt would demonstrate the quality of commitment and service to this community that Francis Marion demonstrated a couple of centuries ago. And we think the, Mar the Marion Medallion is the perfect mechanism to, uh, to make those recognitions and bestow that honor. And by the way, let me just br very briefly show you the medallion itself, which is um, struck out of bronze and just a stunningly beautiful representation of, uh, of the general or the general as we believed he looked. <laughs> I'd like to begin this morning by recognizing the previous um, recipients of the Mary Medallion. If you're here, would you stand and let's, let's hold our applause till all have been recognized and then we will, uh, we will um, uh, applaud at the, at the end. 2012, Kathy Baxley, Henry Johnson, and Hayward King. 2013, Bill and Olive Timberlake and Ralph Porter. 2014, Henry Batty and Clyde Odom and Henry Brunson. 2015, John and Vicki Kirby and Paige Alexander and Deanna Strickland. 2016, Carlos Washington and Manna House. 2017, Renji Armstrong, Carl Harmon, and Courtney Graham. 2018, Billy Powers and Help for Kids. 2019, Chuck McNeil, Parking Lot Ministry. 2020, Mayor Stephen Wakila and Alan Floyd. 2021, Allie Brooks and Hope Health. 2022, Jean Leatherman and Helen Ellen Hamilton. Let's all give them a round of applause. <clears throat> Thanks for coming out and joining us today. And no, Ellen, it wasn't a mistake. The uh, Let's move on with the ceremony this morning. The Morning News and Matt Tranquil, the president of the Morning News, will recognize our first recipient. Matt? So, so the first year I did this, um, Don Costner would uh, wrote my words. Don, remember that? Then last year, I think uh, Chris helped, and, and this year I had no one to help, so I had to do it myself. Um, I asked Dr. Carter to um, help me, and he said, Matt, I don't want you to speak my words, so no. Um, so he, <laughs> no help there. But my name is Matt Trankel, and I'm, I'm the president of the Florence Morning News. I'd like to thank everyone for being here today. I'd like to give special thanks to my friend, Dr. Fred Carter. Without his vision and came to attitude, Francis Marion University, and I dare to say the PD region, would not be what it is today. The Marion Medallion is in partnership between the Florence Morning News and the university because of Dr. Carter. Let's all give Dr. Fred Carter a round of applause. I did not know Pat Gibson Hyde Moore before I called to make an appointment with her for what was to be the committee telling her that she was going to be recognized as a recipient of the Marion Medallion. It is tradition 
that we do not tell the winner until the meeting. Pat really wanted to know why I wanted to talk to her. And, well, everybody wants to know why I want to talk to them, actually, but she was no different. I just told her that I just wanted to meet her, which was not a lie. Her husband, Kermit, was trying to, trying to get me to spill the reason for the meeting. Kermit and Pat agreed to the meeting, for Pat wanted to tell me about a few stories that she thought we might want to write about. More on those in a few minutes. After p meeting Pat, I cannot stop thinking of what the world would be like if there were more people like her. A quote from Mother Teresa came to mind after I met Pat. Spread love everywhere you go. Let no one ever come to you without leaving happier. Richard Gere once said, what we all have in common is an appreciation of kindness and compassion. All the, religi all the religious religions have this, love. We lean towards love. And finally, Dr. Martin Luther King said, life's most per persistent and urgent question is what are you doing for others? Well, I do not think we have time to go over everything Pat has done for others. But let's just hit on a few. Pat had helped, whoops, you should turn your phone off before these. I forgot about that. Oh, somebody else, see, all oh, good. Thank you. That makes me feel better. Pat has helped individuals and families get back to their feet. She has found temporary housing for people who have lost jobs and had other life-changing experiences and founded Hearts for the Homeless, which provides tools to help homeless people get back on their feet. She's organized the East Florence Community Organization more than 25 years ago. And she's only 27 years old, so that's, that's very impressive. She is co-founder of the Alliance of Youth. She is a co-founder of the South Carolina Pecan Music and Food Festival and co-chairman of the Florence Christmas Parade. Pat has served on the Florence County School District 1 Board of Trustees for 11 years and represented District 2 on the Florence City Council for six years. She's also a member of the Housing Authority of the Florence Board of Commissioners for six years. She helped Spear head the community center at a park while creating youth programs around the area. Pat has started a nonprofit organization, Alliance for Youth, just to help young people. She started an amateur and athletic union basketball team to develop youth and keep them off the streets. And that's just a few things that Pat has done. And all, the stories that she thought that maybe the newspaper would be interested in writing. Pat is currently partnering with the House of Hope Executive Director Brian Braddock to raise one million, so if you guys have any spare change on the way out, if you could just write a check to Pat, that would be great. Um, Brian Braddock to raise one million dollars to build a community resource building for the homeless. The building will be used as a day center, warming, cooling station, church, and emergency overflow shelter. It will include his or her restrooms and showers, a laundry area, free Wi-Fi, charging stations, lockers, a small kitchen, and storage. Now for most of us, this would be enough. But no, he, she had a second thing she's working on also. The second story she, she told us about to just try to keep her busy, because you know the first million dollars want to keep her busy. She's planning a youth-led anti-gun violence rally in Florence later this year. Pat stated in the newspaper, and I quote, there has been many stop the violent rallies in Florence led by adults. Children and teenagers aren't attending those rallies. An anti-violent rally led by teenagers will attract those age groups, end of quote. Pat Ort urges everyone to get involved and improve their communities. She states people can help by volunteering at variety of organizations, seeing a need and filling it, or simply giving a smile, or simply a smile and kind words to someone walking down the street. And I've seen Pat a few times after I met her, and she's always smiling. She's smiling right now. She's saying, is he going to ever be done? Um, she says, and I quote, we need to show more love to people. 
If you're someone that needs help, help. If you see someone that needs help, help. If you can make one person smile a day, you've done your job for that day. Right now, my health is not good. I guess you know I have cancer, she says. I have to keep going because doing for others is what makes me happy and keeps me going. If I just sat at home and didn't try to do anything, I'd be very unhappy. And I think I wouldn't live that long, really. Well, if doing good makes you happy and live longer, Pat will live a very long life and will be very happy doing it. It is my honor to present to you Pat Gibson Moore, this year's Marion Medallion recipient. Good morning, everyone. And thank you for those kind words, even though I don't think some of them are true. <laughs> no, really. Um, I really enjoy helping others. I don't have to get an award to do that. I don't have to get a medallion. I don't have to, and no one has to tell me thank you. I do it because it's from the heart. Our community have needs. People have needs. And those needs can be met if we get out and work for them. That million dollars, yeah, if you have any spare change, please leave it today. <laughs> because it's, it's gonna take that much to build this facility, but we need it. I love people, I love all people. It doesn't matter who you are, where you came from, or what you've done. Because we've all done things that we're not proud of. So let's make ourselves proud as well as others and do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I really appreciate this award today, but I appreciate it more if people, if we all would come together and smile and help one another. I know a lot of you here in this audience and I think a lot about all of you. When I go, before I go to bed at night, I say a prayer. Not just for me, not just for my friends and family, but for each and every person in this room. Because we all need prayer. We all need to know that there's someone out there that loves us. And I truly love each and every one of you. We have to show love to each other. Because if we don't, we won't get very far in life. So again, I thank you. I'm not going to sit up here all day, stand here all day. But I really appreciate this. But it, it's not something that you had to do for me. You're doing it because you love me too. <laughs> um, but again, I thank you. And if I can make one person smile a day, I've done my job. And I thank you all smile in this room. Come on, let me have a big smile. <laughs> all right, thanks everyone. Hope to see you soon. Dr. Carter, a long time ago, he was thinking about leaving Francis Marion, and I called and asked him, please don't go, and now he's still here, and he's going to be here forever. <laughs> I'll only be here forever if Pat stays forever. Pat, congratulations. What an appropriate uh, recognition of all of your contributions to the community and what an appropriate recognition of the voice you provided for so many people in this community who can't speak for themselves. It's my pleasure now to turn to the next presentation and um, I will tell you before I, uh, I make this presentation I feel very very strongly about these two gentlemen so if my if my uh, eyes stay fixed on the paper through a lot of the presentation, you'll understand fully. These two gentlemen, two businessmen, community leaders and friends who have literally and figuratively changed 
the face of this community over the last quarter of a century. The fact that the two are lifelong friends makes this presentation all the more meaningful when we do it together. First, the pedigree. Two rural, rural boys. Jim was raised in Marion, Tim in Darlington. Jim attended the PD Academy, Tim Darlington Academy. Both are alumni of Francis Marion University. Both are alumni of Francis Marion University. Both were political science majors. And you think <laughs> And you think you can't make a living in political science? How about that, Neil, huh? Both were proud members and continue to be proud members of Pi Kappa Alp fraternity. They have both worked hard building businesses which became cornerstones for this community over the past quarter of a century. First Shelley Management Services, then ADP which acquired Shelley, and finally Synergy Partners one of the nation's leading tax incentive firms. Quite apart from this, Tim was a founding partner in Hotel Florence, and he's owner of Victor's. Jimmy was investor and founder and developer in Crest Corners. You know, I've already said enough to justify the award of the medallion to these two gentlemen, but let me go on. Their love, the commitment of their money, the risks they take to further this community, to further Florence, and to grow downtown Florence are well known to almost everybody who lives here. There are many of us who contribute to downtown Florence, but most of us contribute with other people's money. Jim and Tim contributed their own money and they took the own risk personally. There's a big difference between those two postures. They also contributed in numerous other ways. Their leadership on the Downtown Development Corporation. Both have served on the Board of Trustees and Foundation Board for Francis Marion University. Both have worked hard and served on the Florence Chamber of Commerce. Tim served as president twice. Of course, none of this would be possible without the devotion to their family and the support that their families brought. Everyone here knows about the role that Candace and Ann play in supporting, in supporting Jimmy and Tim. They all know the work and effort that Candace and Ann play in making sure that Jimmy and Tim look good in this community every single day. So I want to stop here for just a second and let us recognize Candace and Ann. But you know, for all of this, much of what Jimmy and Tim do in this community, you don't know, and neither do I. They're compassionate givers, but they're quiet givers. They're also loyal givers. I've been at Francis Marion for 24 years. Do you know they've contributed to scholarships at Francis Marion every single year? Most of you don't know that because they won't let me tell you that. There are dozens of similar stories across this community that represent the same pattern of giving that Jim and Timmy make here. They're loyal philanthropists but they're philanthropists that believe that the best gifts 
are those that are only understood between those who give and those who receive. For them, it's not simply paying back. You know, what a trite word sometimes. It's not simply about giving to the community because you get something from it. For Jim and Tim, it's in their DNA. It's an obligation that they carry to serve others. And they do serve us all. For dozens of people in this room, they're only a phone call away. I don't know about you, but I've made that phone call a lot of times. Finally, I really couldn't close today without acknowledging the great love and respect that the two of them have for each other. Personally, I don't know any set of brothers that are as close as the two of them. And by the way, when you want to recognize one for something, they'll tell you very, very quickly, could you include the other one as well? Because they're just a much a part of what's been accomplished. So, you know, I've discussed all of these traits collectively. You might ask me, how do I distinguish them? Well, here's how I distinguish the two of them. Jim is the smartest businessman in this community and one of the nicest people I know. Tim is the nicest businessman in this community and one of the smartest people I know. <laughs> That's the best I can do. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2023 medallion recipients, Jim Brown and Tim Norwood. and now Dr. Cardus is pretty tough. Um, we did find out earlier that we have a connection. Kermit and I used to play basketball together. He was pretty good, I have to admit. <laughs> Left-handed, but you were very good. So first, I'm, I, so you know, we're talking about writing your own speech. I did this, but I wrote it on these note cards, and I'm hoping I can read my writing because it's not, as people know, it's not the best. So thank you, Dr. Carter, Francis Marion University. Matt in the morning news. It's, uh, I have to tell you, it's an incredible award. I, words to come to mind like honored, humble, just so appreciative. And as you know, I was so shocked and surprised. Um, so, the Francis Mary in the morning news, one thing I want to mention so everybody here realizes is our region and our community are so fortunate to have an outstanding public university here in our area with Dr. Carter as a leader, and of course, um, Folly as his uh, very able motivator and driver. So Folly, thank you for allowing, sharing Fred with our community very much. So what a great first lady. You did very well, Doc, in your, um, in your marriage there. Uh, <laughs> well, we both probably are way over our head, to be honest with you. So, and in the morning news, you know, a local community newspaper is just such a treasure. And the things that Francis Marion and newspaper do, they, they bind us together, they educate us, they keep us connected, right? And so to have both of them um, honor us in this way is, or me, is, a, is really an amazing thing. And again, let me allow to thank my wife and my children, and friends and family who are here. We've had coming in, I have somebody who came in from Nashville, Tennessee, Clemson, South Carolina, Greenville, South Carolina, uh, Charleston, Marion, South Carolina. So I, I just like really moved that all of you came so far and I appreciate it. Of course, some of you came from Florence. It wasn't a very long commute though. So. <laughs> but I'm gonna give you credit for being here anyway. How about that? Um, so today, you know, talk about the irony of ironies. Today is Francis Marion Day. So 
I was a native of born and raised in Marion, South Carolina. The general statute sits on the town square. I saw it every day growing up. I'm a very fortunate alumni of Francis Marion University. By the grace of a lot of professors, I did graduate, so <laughs> including Dr. Thigpen. Uh, and, uh, and Dr. Falkenberry is here somewhere as well. Um, and so then you, you're from Marion, South Carolina. Um, you're a graduate of Francis Marion. It's Francis Marion Day. And then you receive an honor like the Francis Marion Medallion. So how, how special is that for me? However, as we, Dr. Carter did a great job talking, um, speaking about our past and the things we love. But today, if I could, I'd really like for all of us to pause and, and honor. This is not about me. I don't want this day to be about me. I want to be about our community and the people in our community. Well, let's stop and pause and think as this day moves on about all the people in our community who do so much to change lives every day in the community. Just personally, you know, the, the one I'm involved in is Carlos Washington, the basketball association he puts on. The things these men do with these young men in the summer is amazing, Carlos. It's a ministry, it's teaching teamwork, work ethic. My son and my wife and I, we traveled two whole summers. Right places like Dillon, South Carolina, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, Greensboro. Those are great days and what you do for those young men is amazing. But Carlos does that every single day. Our business partner, Frank Chisholm, started the Florence Wine and Food Festival. All the proceeds go to help for kids. Frank took the initiative to do that. At our own office, our associates at ERS and, and Synergy raised $166,000 from October to December, and the money was given to Florence County Disabilities, um, House of Hope, and, um, and Help for Kids. And that was Frank's drive that did that. So Frank's been a real mentor to, to myself, and I know to Tim, about trying to give back. But when you think about the associates had bake sales, raffles, more cookouts and dinners, and I think I had to, I had to go on a diet afterwards. <laughs> uh, but, but people every day in our community, organizations like Francis and Marion, um, people do amazing things. The staff and teams there do amazing things that don't necessarily get recognized. And then the volunteers, they get up every day, go to work, do their day job, take care of their families, and then they find the energy and time to give back to their community and they make a difference in the lives of everybody in the community. So as we think about today and this medallion, it, it really needs to be about the people in this community, we call them almost the unsung heroes, who go about every day doing things to change lives and make the lives of people better in this community. So again, I wanna thank all of you, thank you for this award. And in closing, I always tell everybody around the office and I challenge the community here you know, as, as I remind them, is, is don't ever let anything be ordinary. So let's don't let this extraordinary community be ordinary. So thank you very much, Dr. Carter. Thank you. Well, anyone knows me knows I cry at the drop of a hat. <laughs> I'm going to do my best to get through one minute without crying. That's about all the remarks I can get through. Um, I'm in serious. I cry hard. I sob. Can't say the Thanksgiving blessing without just sobbing through it. Matter of fact, I don't even try anymore. I let my brothers do that. Um, good morning. And Dr. Carter, I think you had that right about us. Jimmy's always thought he was the smartest businessman and the nicest person. And I always thought I was the nicest person and smartest businessman. He had it perfect. Uh, seriously, I want to thank uh, you, Dr. Carter, French Marion University, uh, Matt Tranquil, president of the Morning News. Thank you very much uh, for the recognition. I'm both um, honored and humbled uh, to receive the, the Marion Medallion. Uh, it's also an honor to be recognized uh, at the same time with two fine people, uh, Pat Gibson High and Jim Brown, for this award. Um, I'd like to um, recognize my parents, uh, B and Ray Norwood. Both passed away over 30 years ago. And the lessons I learned from them are with me every single day. 
And the most important traits I learned from my parents was a strong work ethic, ambition. My mother was so ambitious. Um, kindness and generosity, traits that I cherish every day. Um, my wife, Ann, you know, she's been my lucky charm since 1995. That's when we first met. My life met, had just been a perfect rise since then. My sons, Fields, Eric, daughter-in-laws, Leah, Lindsay, granddaughters, Anna Pace, and Lawson. I appreciate their encouragement and their understanding. They're, they, they are the reason I volunteer so much to make our community a better place. I've always believed that the person you become is based on two things. One, the books you read and the people you associate with. And I have hundreds of friends and business associates, Dr. Thigpen, Ron Falkenberry, uh, colleagues, business partners that have helped form me into who I am today. But none more than Jim Brown and Frank Chisholm. I thank you both. for the opportunity to be business partners. As Frank said, it's been a great run. Finally, I want to thank the community that supports our business as clients, as customers, as employees, to Victors, to ERS, and to Synergy. I appreciate all that y'all do for us. And Florence and the PD have a very bright future. There's so much that we can and we will do to make our community better. Thank you. You know, long ago when we created this award, the criterion that we established was this. We wanted people to be able to pick up the newspaper read the recipients and say, of course, the perfect choice. Did we hit a home run this year or what? Thank you, that concludes our ceremony.